Hey guys, and welcome to another video of mine. The username is Skyly Biscuit, but you can call me Skyly or Skyler. Um, and today I have for you a little speed build, but first I wanted to show you the screenshots of my first uh, ever Kaz Sims um, for my first ever LP. Um, I did do a whole video over this, but the footage disappeared unfortunately, and I didn't want to do it all over again, so I just decided to put the screenshots in front of it. Um, the female sim that you saw, her name was Everly Tyler. Um, she is, uh, her aspiration is to have a successful lineage. She is a bookworm, she is hot-headed, uh, and she is also a foodie. And this male sim, his name is Heath Tyler, and his aspiration is a best-selling author and he's a geek and he is um let's see let me let me just see he is a geek he is creative and he is a vegetarian um and they are a couple who um they're a very new couple they just gotten married um i did you know, name the build after them. This is the newlywed starter, and um, they are newlyweds. I had pictured this house um, to be, uh, it's the first house that they've ever bought with their own money, like together, and um, after they just spent all of their money on this quaint little house, they don't have anything left, and so they just basically buy, um, the bare minimum as far as a uh, as far as like furniture and things like that go um this is also a uh base game build um so for all of you who don't have um a lot of the other uh game packs expansion packs or stuff packs um this is kind of for you uh and let's um, in this starter home, it is for two sims. Um, if you go in with uh, more than two sims, you will probably um, you'll probably have a little bit more uh, extra cash. But I think with two sims in the mix, uh, you'll have about two hundred and eighty dollars left over after. Um, you move into the slot. Um, I guess let me tell you about the little LP uh, challenge that I wanted to take on. Um, this is called the Alphabet C or the A to Z challenge. Um, and basically it's kind of like the legacy challenge um, but without all of the uh, extra, like, <sighs> rules that make it difficult, I guess. Um, you can either start off with one or two sims. I'm starting out with two um, on this LP. And um, you start out with two sims. And that is your first generation. And um, you have a family uh, with these sims. And um, that first child that you either adopt or or um you either adopt or you know actually have the child um that will be your gen 2 and you will start uh that child's name with um the letter a and then once that child grows up to be adult and has a family of their own and they decide to adopt or have a child that child's name will start with a b uh, so on and so forth until um until you get to Z. Um, and I thought that would be uh, a really fun thing for me to do because I actually have um, such a hard time uh, sticking with playing um, The Sims. I am much more a builder than anything. And, um, and so I really do have a hard time um, actually sitting down and playing the game. Um, and so I thought this would be a fun challenge for me to have um, 
have all of these sims uh actually like grow up in front of my eyes because rarely do i ever have um a sim go from you know baby to adulthood and i start playing that like i don't i think i've only done that once like with uh the sims 2 up like <laughs> i have never been really good at um keeping a family going i either just jump off into building or i'll um pretty much just uh start a new family and go for about a sim week and <laughs> uh it's kind of bad <laughs> so i thought this would be fun for me and it didn't have too many like crazy rules or anything like that and so um that is what i'm going to try and do right now i pretty much have um the whole interior of the house the floor plan down working on the roofing um this house floor plan it is a two bedroom one bathroom house um it has a master bedroom and then a, like the second bedroom is really uh quite small i think it the room itself is um three by three um so uh, i've designed it for a nursery uh for the gallery um, but once you age up a child, uh, a toddler into a child, um, you should have enough for like a single bed and something else to keep the child occupied. Um, but I probably wouldn't recommend this house for any more than three Sims, four Sims at like the very max. Um, and I don't really intend for uh, my sims in my new lp to really you know live in this house forever of course you know as the family grows um as their funds increase uh they're gonna outgrow this house and um that's like kind of what i wanted you know they had this house when they were newly married but as they grow older and their family grows um yeah they they are gonna get um you know uh, bigger houses and things like that so that will be fun right now i was gonna go with that lighter wood um, on the stairs but i couldn't find a wood to match it that i could put on the porch so i go with the, something a little bit darker so it all matches because i like things matchy matchy um i don't know if you guys remember but in my last video i told myself that i was gonna try and work on um making all the windows not all the same unfortunately i failed in this build again so a lot of the windows are the same i think there's like only one window that is different and that is the one in the bathroom and that's about it <laughs> so uh yeah sorry i tried but i just couldn't make it work am i was gonna go in with this uh green gray that I had originally on the walls, but I thought that was too crazy for me. So I end up going with this uh, light, that light gray brick. All right, going into the inside of the house, um, getting in that base gang carpet that <laughs> is really not so cute. Um, getting in some tile for the bathroom um and i do get a full bathroom in here so that's good um sorry just sorry my background music's going crazy okay and um let's see this is going a lot slower um my last video was a 10 times speed and this video is in five times speed um but it took me a lot less time to build so if i had done it in 10 times speed it would have been like a six minute video and i didn't want that so um i'm moving a lot slower than i was before so i don't really have a lot to say um about 
the same room that I'm working on, especially the bathroom. It's really kind of boring. Um, I did not have enough to actually um, put much on the walls. Like, I actually don't think there are much... Um, I don't think there are any decorations on the wall now I'm thinking about it. Oh, and right here, I had just fixed um, that diagonal corner in the living room. I was going to leave it there to make it kind of dynamic, kind of different. Uh, but when I was roofing it, I just didn't like it. So I changed it to um, a normal looking corner, uh, just a 90 degree angle. Um, and here I'm working on the master bedroom. Um, this is like one of my favorite beds and it's like one of the base game beds. Like it's absolutely my favorite. Like I love, if I could have that, that bed frame, I would because that color is gorgeous. Um, and I get um, a dresser and a mirror in here. Just one nightstand though. Um, it was kind of too small to add to. Yeah, here's that little mirror. Oh, and if you hear my dogs in the background, sorry, they're just hanging out and they're kind of ornery. <laughs> so they like to make a lot of noise sometimes. Um, ooh, I thought that, I think that little uh, lantern right there is super cute. Oh, I got a little bit of decoration in here, I guess, some plantage. Uh, going into a little nursery in here. Um. Yeah, but like I said, you can make this into, like, if you had twins, you can make it really cramped and put a, a single bed on each side of the room, um, and that could work. Uh, obviously, it'd be really cramped, though, so. Yeah, over here, I tried to put this ottoman on top of this dresser to kind of make it look like a changing table. Um, I ended up not having enough money to make it a starter with this item in. It was just kind of too pricey. Um, so I do end up getting rid of it. I did kind of like it, but now that I'm thinking about it, it did look a little too fancy to be a, a changing table, really. Um, so who am I kidding? And getting all of the lighting in here, just basic lighting all around the house is the same. Um, I don't think I did any kind of landscaping. Um, I could have done a little bit of terrain painting, but I don't even think I did that. Um, terrain painting is free, so I totally should have, but I really don't remember doing it at all, so I don't think I did. Uh -huh. I put a nice pretty blue color on that wall to kind of separate the room. Get a little outside bin. Um, if you put this lot on, you know, a little bit bigger lot, um, I bet you could get a backyard in. Um, but as of, right, I, I guess I do get a little terrain painting in here because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to spend the money on tiles. <laughs> um, but I think, I don't think I'd do it around the, around the whole house, I don't think. But I do get some paths in here. What next? Pretty sure I might be almost done. Uh, just kind of giving it its name and everything. And here are the screenshots. Uh, the front of the lot. Uh, the basic little um, living room. Everything's really basic. Like the kitchen here just has what you need. Nothing that you want. <laughs> um, the bed. The bedroom. Here is the bathroom. Uh, the nursery. And I think going into the porch now. Um, so hope you guys have a good one and see you next time. Bye all.